Hello students, welcome back to another CSEC Social Studies video. Today we are looking at the January 2023 CSEC Social Studies paper 2 questions. And I know that you are excited to see the questions and to see the answers for these questions. Before we start, just a quick tip. Whenever you're going to answer your questions, please ensure that you do so in complete sentences so that you can receive your full marks. And the first question says, define the term alimony. Now, what do you think the term alimony means? Well, Alimony is financial support that a person is ordered, a spouse is ordered by a court to give to their spouse once they are legally separated or legally divorced. So if you are divorced or you are legally separated from your spouse, a court may order you to pay alimony monies to your spouse. And that would have given you your two marks. Question B, and that is 1B. One function of the family is to provide emotional and psychological support for its members. Outline three other functions of the family. No, they do not want you to write back emotional and psychological support, which is one of the functions of the family, right? So we are going to start our answer in complete sentence. Three other functions of the family are, the family acts as a unit of procreation. Now, what does the term procreation mean? It means that it is the function of the females within a family to have children. Why do they need to have children? So that they can continue their family line and also to continue the human population. We do not want to reach a stage in our, our society or in our population where it is mostly elderly people right we want our females in the families to be producing children so that we can have a mixture of young people or a mostly younger population rather than an elderly population so that one function of the family is procreation and that is for females within a family to have children number two another function of a family is socialization of children it is said that the family is the first agent of socialization so this means that it is within the family that as a child you will first learn how to interact with others it is within your family since that's the first set of people that you would have um, interacted with and will be interacted with as a babe, it is within that family that you will learn certain values, that you will learn norms and beliefs that will help you to interact with others when you go into society. So for example, your family would have already be teaching you as a child how to say good morning, how to say good afternoon when you enter a building or enter into your class. And them teaching you this, when you go into the broader society, you will already know how to interact with other people. So we refer to that as socialization. Now, a third function of the family, and I hope you guys are putting your answers in the comment section. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and ensure that you're liking this video. As an economic unit for satisfying basic needs, another function of the family is to act as an economic unit for satisfying basic needs. Now, what do I mean by this? It is 
the responsibility or the function of a family to ensure that the basic needs of all their members are met. What are the basic needs? This includes food. You have to ensure that children, they have a shelter, they are properly clothed, they are getting the best education possible, they have access to medicine, etc. So it is not the responsibility of an adolescent, it is not the responsibility of a child to ensure that the economic needs uh, that their economic needs are being met it is the function of the family the elderly members of the family to ensure that the economic needs the basic needs of all children are met so if you have any other functions that is different from the ones that i have mentioned you can leave them in the comment section and that would have given you your six full marks all right students now let's just go to question c which says suggest three strategies that parents may use to encourage children to undertake responsibilities in the home explain why each of the strategies suggested in c1 is likely to be successful now this is where we're going to write our strategy and then we're going to explain our strategy so the question is simple asking you to write what can your parents do to motivate you to encourage you to be responsible and also to do activities in the home that will promote responsibility now again please remember that we're going to start our answers in complete sentences and another tip when answering these questions is not to confuse your strategy with your explanation for your strategy you're only um starting your answer in complete sentence and stating what action parents can use to ensure that their children are responsible within their own that's it now after your action which will be will be your strategy you're now going to explain how will that strategy or will that action that you have suggested will work so we do not want to answer the both question answer both questions in the same paragraph we want to ensure that we are getting our full marks so the strategy you start your answers in complete sentence and then you state the action to the problem then in explanation you will explain your action or will that action that you have suggested will work in solving the problem that we have which is parents promoting responsibility within their children in the home now again you can drop your answers in the comment section and we will have a discussion from there now my answers strategy one one strategy that parents may use to encourage children to undertake responsibilities in the home are they can provide a schedule and routine for their children and that is my strategy one no explanation why do i believe that parents providing a schedule and routine for their children will make them become more responsible and undertake responsibilities in the home this is my explanation so i'm going to down to explanation one this strategy will work because if children are taught from an early age to be responsible by having a schedule and a routine this will promote 
responsibility within our children. Parents should ensure that from an early age, they set schedules for children. So they will have their little schedules rule up. They could put it in their rooms. They could put it in the hallway. They could put it in the kitchen as a reminder for children of what there are their responsibilities within the home. Parents, when they set these schedules, right? They are no incorporating responsibilities into their children for example on mondays it is your responsibility to wash the dishes on tuesday your brother will wash the dishes on wednesday it is your responsibility to get rid of the garbage in the house monday to thursday it is your responsibility to ensure that your beds are spread. On Saturdays, it is your responsibility to clean the bathroom, right? So setting schedules will eventually develop into a routine because this is something that you have been practicing in the home from an early age so as you grow older becoming an adolescent and even growing into adulthood this these responsibilities would have become a part of you so no one has to tell you to do certain things in the home because this as you have been doing this from an early age and once parents are consistent and they are persistent in ensuring that their children follow the schedules, it is no doubt that these children will be responsible children and they will grow into becoming responsible adults. Strategy three. Remember, if you have any different strategies, you can drop them in the comment section. So we're at strategy two. Another strategy that parents can use to ensure that children are undertaking responsibilities in the home are, they may encourage children, sorry, they, parents may encourage children to undertake responsibilities in the home by sharing household tasks and chores. Explanation, this strategy will work because if children are taught from an early age, right, to be responsible by helping them or helping their parents in completing and completing all sorts of chores at home. So in other words, from an early age, parents are encouraged to teach their children responsibility by allowing them to help them in completing the chores at home. So if your parents, they are cleaning the house, the children can assist in cleaning the furniture. Children can assist in taking care of the baby. They can assist in washing the dishes. And this will teach them how to be responsible and accountable. And that was strategy two. Now let us go to strategy three. Parents may encourage children to undertake responsibilities in the home by providing allowances for children. Explanation, this strategy will work because not only will children be responsible by doing household chores, but they will also learn how to be responsible at home with money. You see? So they are learning two responsibilities here by parents providing their children with allowances for completing chores. So they are learning the responsibility of part undertaking or participating in chores in the home. And by giving them allowances, they are learning how to be responsible with money so in other words 
if they learned good money management skills, right? So your parents teaches you good money management skills, you will eventually grow into adulthood, becoming responsible when it comes on to spending money. You will know how to budget, you'll know how to become thrifty as a consumer. And this is something that would have been instilling you from an early age. And I hope you are leaving your answers in the comment section. So I've decided to give you a little bonus, so an extra answer. So this would have been strategy four. Parents can teach their children to undertake responsibilities in the home by allowing them to help with taking care of younger siblings. Explanation, this strategy will work because if children are allowed, especially adolescents, they are, are allowed in taking care or assisting parents in taking care of younger children, they, for example, they ask them to, the parents might ask you to bring the wipes to clean the baby. They might ask you to push the baby in the stroller when going for a walk. They might ask you to throw away the garbage, right? So by participating in helping to take care of younger children, you are definitely learning how to be responsible as a child and also as an adult because eventually growing into adulthood and adolescent this responsibility that you have been taught as a child will grow with you and parents can also i'm thinking about this parents can also reward their children for helping them after help, after completing a task and reward does not really have to be monetary it could also by praise it could be by also praising them so you could say very good thank you for assisting me in taking care of our siblings today it could be that your parents could give you an allowance it could be that they could buy you a special gift right so there are so many answers and strategies and explanation for this question so i hope that you are dropping them in the comment section um, this video is 17 minutes long, so I think I am going to stop at question one for this video. If you have not yet complete, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so and give this video a thumbs up, students. Please remember to watch the ads on the videos because that is how um, this channel will continue to grow. So I'll see you in another video where we will continue question two of the January 2023 CXC Social Studies paper.